Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to start a small uh, series on uh, Python tutorial. So I will be posting a series of videos uh, covering all basic uh, concepts of uh, Python programming. So I am not going to talk uh, much about like what Python is used to, how Python is good. So I am going to skip all those things because I am sure people who are watching uh, over watching this video will be already aware of those things and that's the reason you guys are checking this video so I'll be skipping all those part so uh, straight away we'll go for uh, uh, the installation of Python and uh, throughout the series I'll be using uh, uh, this uh, Zorin uh, OS which is something like Ubuntu okay now let's try installing Python here that I'll open terminal first, then switch to super user. Uh, most Linux distributions come uh, with Python installed by default. We usually Python version 2, so let's just confirm that. Okay, we have Python 2 installed. Okay. Now to install Python 3, I'll do okay, it's downloading and uh, it will install automatically. Okay, we have Python 3.6.9 uh, installed. So that's good. Let's start. Before uh, start uh, starting any uh, script or uh, uh, any programs with Python, then let's do some basic stuff. It's always better to uh, keep your scripts organized. So we create a directory name. I usually keep uh, my scripts under uh, bin directory and uh, the config files or any uh, in any reference files in this is I'll make two more directories then etc then we need a log directory and clip directory again it is all depends upon your preference but I prefer uh, to keep it this way so I'll go into bin where all my uh, scripts will reside. Yeah. Uh, okay, so similar to uh, uh, the shell scripts, you can try all uh, your uh, Python uh, commands or functions inside the Python form, which can be entered by the, like this. So here you can uh, try all your uh, uh, Python commands or uh, anything you're, you're going to write inside the Python program, so that can be tested here. So, as traditional, we let's try with the usual uh, command. Okay, it's printing. So, likewise, you can you can try any uh, uh, any Python uh, command inside this prompt. To exit this prompt, let's do this. and let's see where this Python 3 is installed. So it will be useful for us to call this interpreter. Okay, it's under user bin Python. So let's try our first script. So we are going to try what we did in the term uh, inside the prompt. But inside uh, the, the same thing we are going to write inside. The so to write a script. I'll open first and this, as you might have known, uh, in uh, in Unix or Linux, uh, the extension is does does not mean uh, anything to the to the operating system. The extensions are given only for the user understanding. So dot py is just for our understanding. It's not mandatory to give this py extension. So let's open the script. 
che vi ho messo nel terzo non fa gli usciti miei ok we have the uh, editor open so I'll straight away write print I'll save this file in this PWQ. Now this file will not be an executable, so we have to change it to executable. So let me try make it executable. Now we have to tell uh, tell which interpreter to use to execute this script. As I said, this dot py, py doesn't mean uh, that OS will be able to understand that we are executing a Python script. So we have we can we can mention the interpreter in a couple of ways, either by mentioning the interpreter which one to use while running the script is executing. So how it works is the the shell will use the interpreter mentioned here to execute this script. But this this looks a bit long. So, okay, that, that is an easier way uh, to let uh, the shell know which interpreter to use. So first let me copy this and open the script. And in the beginning of the program we have to enter something like this. So this way uh, we are letting the interpreter know uh, sorry, we are, we are letting the shell know which interpreter to use to execute the script. Let's save this. Now, we don't need to mention uh, Python 3 in front of the script name. We can just normally execute it. It's executing. So, this is how, th these are the two ways how, how you can um, uh, mention which interpreter to use and uh, execute a basic Python uh, script. So with this, let's close uh, uh, today's session. See you all soon with the next video. Thank you.